Yo, what's up? This is your life coach and mentor, Jonathan Belcher. I am rich. I am financially free. I am financially prosperous. Money flows to me effortlessly and abundantly from providing great service. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am loved. All right, let's talk about it, y'all. Why do people hate the truth so much today? The reason why people hate the truth so much today is because it forces them to have to look in the mirror at themselves. The truth literally forces people to, ha forces people to have to look within and have to improve and change things about themselves. So they, they rather just live a lie and continue to hurt people, continue to make decisions that aren't in other people's best interest. Right, and they want to keep doing it without any responsibility, without any accountability. So, what you'll find is this thing called cancel culture. Culture today, right? You got this thing called cancel culture, where people are canceling people for being honest, for being truthful about what really what's going on. And if you look at society, and you look at politicians, you look at people in in high places, and just in the world in general, the people who are shunned most in any industry are people who tell the truth, people who are honest about what's going on, people are honest about the situation at hand. Those people tend not to be glorified. Those people tend not to be uh, given their flowers. You know, and, it, and it's an unfortunate thing. And the reason why this is happening is because the more and more we move into a fake society, right? The more and more we move into this social media era where everybody's just trying to show their best, they're trying to market themselves uh, the best way possible, the less and less they want to take accountability for what's really going on, right? The less and less they want to take note of people who may be hurting, the less they want to take note of people who may be homeless, uh, the less they want to take note of people out there who need help. So what you're going to find as time goes on is the people who actually tell the truth and keep it real about stuff, people aren't going to, a lot of people out there who are fake, they're not going to like those real people, you know, uh, what, what looking in the mirror forces you to do is it forces you to have to change something. And most people, they're lazy and they don't want to change things. You know what I'm saying? Just being real. So when you do look to speak truth, when you do look to speak about what's going on, realize that you will have backlash. And especially if you're a chosen one and you're pointing out the things that you see that's corrupt in society, backlash and opposition is naturally going to come from that. No matter how how true what you're saying is, backlash is going to come because there's certain demons who are literally there to protect lies and get certain agendas pushed ahead. You get what I'm saying? But we need the truth, right? Even in the Bible, the Bible said the truth will set you free. Why does the truth hurt people so much? I don't know. I think it's actually the, the it's, it's truth that we need. We need to take it. Uh, we need to acknowledge the truth in order to take a step in the right direction. If you ask me, but many people won't see it like this. Many people want to do things against, you know, uh, nature. Many people want to do things that hurt other people, and literally, they don't want to be called out for it. You know, they kind of want to bulldoze through your boundaries, do whatever they want to do with you. But the minute you do one little thing that may be honest, guess what they're going to do? They're going to gaslight you. They're going to gaslight you and point out all the things you're doing wrong and act like what they've done wrong doesn't even exist. You know these kinds of people? Now, if you have these kinds of people in your life, you want to get them out of your life. You want to run away far from these people and you want to get around people who think like you and people who see things for what it is and who, who aren't trying to live a lie because essentially the more people try to live a lie and they try to cover up what's going wrong the less society is going to be better off like i always say in my videos right i always say that in order for the world to get better we got to improve uh first our hearts and minds right first first step is me improving myself but then the next step is helping other people out there improve their hearts and their minds it is impossible to get people to improve their hearts and their minds by telling a lie, by not being honest about what's going on out here. And, you know, a lot of people, I'll give you an example of what I mean, right? A lot of people that I know, I remember when Trump was president, a lot of people hated Trump, right? But there was something that I did respect about Trump. And the thing that I did respect about Trump was he was honest and he was himself and I knew exactly what I was getting. I knew exactly who I was dealing with. I knew exactly his character. And to me, that's better for, to me to know somebody's character for what it is than to me, for me to be dealing with somebody who's acting like a friend to my face or acting one way to my face, but 
deep inside they feel a whole different way you get what i'm saying i'm one of those people but not everybody thinks like that some people would rather get pacified some people would rather get lulled to sleep they would rather get told lie after lie after lie just so they can feel better meanwhile they have that same friend who's lying to them backstabbing them stabbing them in the back right some people love that they, they prefer that but to me i think in order for us to take a step in the right direction we got to be real about things. We got to be honest and we got to stop holding back. We got to stop being afraid of criticism. We got to stop being afraid of what people may not like that you say uh, because there's no change that could come from that. You know, ultimately, people who tell the truth, we oftentimes don't like them when they're alive. And then when they pass away, that's when we want to give them all their flowers. Like, oh, my gosh, they were such a real person. Everything they said, they had a lot of wisdom to share. They had a lot of truth to share with people. But it's like, are you kidding me? You got people who who been stuck telling the truth when they were alive. They've been telling like it is when they were alive. So why champion champion those people after they pass on? And the reason why that happens is because when you're forced to look in the mirror at yourself, you got to check yourself. And most people don't want to check themselves. Just being real, most people would rather just do the nonsense they're doing, you know, uh, and just get away with it. Continue to do it. Continue to do it. Continue to do it. Shh. Don't tell anybody about that. You know, sweep that under the rug. Sweep that under the rug. Don't shh, don't show no, nobody what's, what you're really doing. Don't tell nobody about what he's doing behind closed doors. Don't tell anybody about what she be doing behind closed doors. You know what I'm saying? That type of thing. But to be real with you, that's not going to fly. That's not going to continue to fly. And that's also another reason why I really enjoyed Kendrick's last album. Shout out to Kendrick Lamar in his last album. He spoke about a lot of things that were deeper than just money and surface things, money, cars and clothes and being successful. He spoke about a lot of things that made us have to look in the mirror as a people. And every day, more and more, as I get wiser and more, more the more that I learn things, the more I realize the power in just being honest about things and, be, and telling the truth and speaking your truth and walking in your truth. You know what I'm saying? Just being yourself because... That is is where society can improve. That is where society is going to see things for where, what it is and say, you know what? We need to band together. We need to create institutions. We need to create uh, groups that can actually help people instead of just ignoring people who are hurting in society. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we could talk all day about getting rich. We could talk all day about making money. We could talk all day about girls. We could talk all day about men. We could talk all day about this and that. We could talk, excuse me. We could talk all day about all the glitz and the glamour and all the nice things, but at the same time, there's a lot of people who are hurting right now, you know? And when the more fake we are, the less we can acknowledge who's hurting, the less we can help those who are hurting. You know what I'm saying? The, the, less, we, the less we're actually, um, we're more selfish when we're lying to ourselves about the state of society and where things are heading, you know what I mean? And we feel justified in our bullshit when we're lying to ourselves. So that's really why you'll find that a lot of people who tell the truth, they're going to get shunned. It's just how it is. You know what I mean? Either they're going to get shunned by either friends, family, or they're going to get shunned by people in high places. You know, for example, uh, I'm not even going to use that, that, that example, right? But anyway, we're going to leave that example alone. But my point is simple. My point is that what you're going to notice as time goes on in this day and age that the person who's being fake, they're going to be held up on a, on a pedestal. They're going to be glorified. They're going to get all the flowers. They're going to get ce celebrated, all of that stuff. The people who are misleading people, those people are going to get glorified. Meanwhile, the people who are being honest about the problems in society and the way uh, a lot of people think because their hearts and their minds, and their minds aren't in the right place, those people are going to kind of be like stepped on. People are going to try to shun them. People are going to try to not give them acknowledgement. Um, I can I can give you another example. I remember when Jay Z he dropped four 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 right. He dropped the album four four four. In my opinion, in that album he was being the most real. You know he was being the most open and the most candid. But yet and still that was his only album where he did not win one Grammy. They did not acknowledge not one song. They didn't think one song was it was worthy of winning a Grammy. That's very odd. How can this dude win a Grammy every damn near every time he drops an album? But when he does drop an album that's actually speaking the truth and giving people game on what's really going on out here, and he's being open and honest about you know society and the world, 
that's the album that they choose to shun, not give him his Grammy for it. And it's just ironic. It really makes you wonder. You know what I mean? So always be careful of and, and always ask yourself, why is society shunning a certain person? Or why is society demonizing a certain person when they are being demonized? And what you're going to find when you do digging and you do a lot of research and you look into that person's history and you look at uh, why they do what they do, what you're going to find is a lot of the shunning and a lot of the demonization is just propaganda, right? Because ultimately what they want is the whole world to view that person as bad so that they can continue to do the fucked up shit they, they continue to do. You know what I mean? They, they want to continue to cause harm to society. They want to continue to push on corruption. And the way to protect that is by spreading lies to the people. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. So drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. If you feel like people who are truth tellers get shunned in society. Or if you think that people who are real don't get shunned in society. Let me know your thoughts on this. I see this a lot. This is a pattern that I've been realizing over and over and over again. Like people who are real and honest about the changes that need to be had. Those people are experiencing the most backlash. And they experience the most hate from people. Meanwhile, all they're doing is trying to free the people because it's the truth that sets people free, not the lies. You could tell somebody a lie all day. You could make them feel good all day. And meanwhile, you, you there backstabbing them. To me, that's the worst kind of individual. I'd rather a person who's an enemy to me. They're openly an enemy. So I know who I'm dealing with. I know how to stay far away from them. And then a person who's acting like they're, you know, a friend of mine, acting like they're on my team. Meanwhile, they're going behind my back. They're talking crazy shit about me, talking down about me, disrespecting me, making me sound bad, and they not being real. You get what I'm saying? So drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Make sure to hit the bell button if you haven't hit the bell button so you can be notified immediately whenever I make videos like this. Like I said, y'all, the times of, 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 of holding back, those times are over with. You know, when you're making passive income, you could kind of get to a point where you could say whatever's on your heart and not have to worry. You know, that's the beauty of making your own income from home. That's the beauty of not having to push a clock for somebody else is you literally get to a point where you can express yourself, be real, stand firm in your position and not have to worry. All right. Without any further ado, make sure to have a great day. Have a blessed day. I wish you the utmost prosperity and abundance. This is Jonathan Belcher. Peace.